Hello everyone, welcome back to the video series of the object oriented programming with Java. Our today's topic for this particular video that is a garbage collection and access specifier in Java. I am your instructor Mr. Ankit Patel. So, let us start with our first topic that is the garbage collection. So, first of all what do you mean by the garbage uh, collection? So, one most important feature of the Java that is the Java has an automatic memory management is there. So, like in, uh, if you are talking about the language C and C++ that if the user is responsible for allocating the memory as well as user is also responsible for the deallocating the memory. But where is in Java, uh, the user is only just allocating the memory Why? forget about the deallocation in the Java. So, Java has a automatic memory management. So, what happened uh, in the memory management? So, first of all Java will check if there is any unused object, unused variable in our program that we have not used uh, till the end of the program. At the same time, it will collect that variable, collect that uh, object and place it in a garbage collection. So, what it mean when you run that particular code the memory for that unused variable and object is not allocated. So, this will improve the memory. Now, in C and C plus suppose if you are declaring an array of 50 and you are using just 5 variables, the rest of the 45 variable are wastage of the memory and this memory are allocated, but we are not deallocating that memory. So, for allocation and deallocation we required a malloc and calloc function in C, C++, but in Java we are not using that type of concept. So, the memory allocation and deallocation is automatically. So, user no need to worry about what about the deallocation when we are creating the variable, when we are creating the extra variable in our program. So, Java has a most powerful feature that is a Java has a automatic memory management. But in the garbage collection, suppose if you are talk about the C++, there is a two topic is there constructor as well as destructor. Now, constructor I have already explained in the Java, but what about the destructor? So, there is a no destructor in Java. So, one important question asked in the, GT, uh, in the our examination that is there any destructor type feature available in the Java? So, yes, the answer is yes. The feature is available, but we are not using a destructor, we are using the one method that is called as a finalized method. So, that is our topic for the uh, this session in a garbage collection because garbage collection that I have already told the what it means. It just collect the unused variable and object in garbage collection and at the runtime the memory for that particular variable and object is not allocated. So, now uh, if we are talking about the destructor, so in Java there is a no uh, destructor. So, the finalized method comes into the picture. Now, the finalized method in Java is a very special method like the main method in Java. So, why it is required and what is used? So, finalized method call before the garbage collection uh, collector of the object means garbage collection what it will do? It will just collect all the variable that are unused, but what I want to do? I want to just use that particular object single time. After the use of that particular object or variable, I want to deallocate that object or variable. So, at the same time garbage collector not comes into the picture because garbage collector is C. If you are use that particular variable or object, it will not collect and uh, store in a garbage collector. But suppose if you are using the topic like finalized method, so it will execute or it will perform or it will use that object in a single time after the uh, after the completion of the finalized method, the object that you are using in the finalized method will automatically remove. So, that is the advantage and this is a similar feature uh, like destructor, destructor is working same as a whereas the finalized method is working. So, again the question is same. Is there any feature available like destructor in Java? The answer is yes, this feature is available with the use of the finalized method. So, now uh, what is the requirement of the finalized method and what it mean? So, sometime an object will need to perform some action when it is destroyed. So, as I told you, we want to perform or uh, we want to use the object a single time. At the same time, you can use this 
finalized method so for example if an object is holding some resources and such a file operation handling is there then you make a sure that these resources are free before an object is destroyed to handle these types of situation java provide a mechanism called as an finalized method or this is called as an finalization so what is the syntax for the finalized method so here the syntax is simple inside the finalized method you will specify those action that must be performed or before an object is destroyed that you want to just use that object a single time after the use of that particular object you want uh, you don't want to use that particular object so the garbage collector run periodically checking for the object so what is the syntax for final method just write down the protected void finalized this is the inbuilt method is there and it is a part of the object class right so object class you all know the object class is our uh, ancestor class that means our cosmic super class is there so it is a part of the object class so no need to extend no need to inherit the object uh, object class by default all the class is a subclass of the object class so the syntax is a simple syntax you need to specify those action that uh, you must uh, be enter in a final method just enter that code uh, and just close that body of the finalized method so this is uh, the use of the finalized method so now you can easily use this topic or this uh, concept in place of the destructor in the java now next topic that is the access specifier or you can say access control in the java so as i told you already uh, there are the mainly three access control that is the private public and protected so one more access specifier is there that is a default access specifier. if you are not writing anything like public private protected it will automatically consider as a default access specifier so what do is the use of the default access specifier that i will also access but first of all uh, let's understand about the what is the meaning of the private method suppose if you are declaring a method as a private or variable as a private or what do you mean by the private if you are declaring a data or method as a private the method are declared within the private can only access by its within the declare class itself means if you are creating on one class in that class you declaring a one method as a private so that particular method is not accessible outside that of the class so private access modifier is a most restrictive access level means that data is not accessible outside of the class even you are creating the object of that class using object you want to access but that data is not accessible so private is a more restrictive access level now next one that is a protected method that is a uh, or uh, some lower privilege or uh, some lower restrictive compared to private so protected means what so here method which is declared as a protected in a sub class can be accessed only by the sorry the method which which are declared as a protected in a super class can be accessed only by the sub class in the other packages means if you are talking about the same packages so there is a no difference between protected and public but if you want to access the class or the data of the class outside of the package then this is only possible if that particular class is a sub class of the another package so suppose here the two packages is there package a and package b is there and you want to access the data of package a to b so for that in a package b a class that is a sub class of a package a class so that you can only access the data of the package a so that is a more restrictive level again uh, that is a protected method so method which are declared as a protected in a super class can be access only by the sub class in the other packages or any class within the same packages and the last one that is a public method so public means you are declaring a method as a public or variable as a public that data can access in anywhere in the program so method declared as a public can access from any other class if the public class that is trying to access in a different package then the public class still need to be imported 
okay so you want to access that particular so you need to import that particular package then and then you can access so hope you understand about the public private and protected i will also explain in detail you can see here uh, like there are the four access level is there that is a public private protected as well as the default is also there so first of all if you are talking about the public so public means what you can only this is visible to all the classes so i am talking about the visibilities so if your data is declared as a public that is visible to all the uh, all the classes if your data is declared as a protected then visible to class with in the package and the sub classes of the other package then and then the protected data is visible so now what is the difference between protected and default default is similar to protected but there is some minor difference between the default access receiver and the protected that the default access receiver visible to the class with the package only there is no access if the in other package if it is a sub class or the any other class is there so there is a some minor difference between protected and a uh, default access wire so some uh, people are understanding that protected and default are uh, similar but that is a uh, not right uh, there is some minor difference between protected and default the main difference between the default and protected is that in default access specifier the data is not accessible to the outside of the packages even the class is a sub class of that particular package the data is not accessible if you want to access the data in a other class the data must be in the form of the public and protected and the last one that is a private as i told you the visible within a class only and it is not accessible outside the class suppose if you want to access a private data of the class outside of the that particular class it is not possible so again i will explain this uh, access control with the some uh, question is there like suppose the same class is there and what uh, what is a uh, what is a situation where the default private protected public data is accessible or not the answer is in the form of the yes and no you can see over here so here the uh, if you are talking about the same class the default data is accessible private is also accessible protected as well as public all are accessible if you are talking about the same class now same package but sub class is there so for that default is always accessible same package if you are talking about the same package default is accessible but private data as i told you it is not accessible outside of the class so uh, that is not possible but in case of the protected and public you can access the data now same package non sub class for that particular cases the default is accessible private is not accessible protected is accessible and public is accessible but different if you are talking about the different there is a no in a default in a private it is not possible but protected and public it is possible because different package but sub class is there but if you are talking about different class and non sub class so the data is only accessible that is in the public mode so hope you understand uh, what we are discussing this particular session that is about the garbage collection as well as the different access control level in this particular program so thank you very much if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask me thank you very much